Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with me, Nilo Okidastra Andriani, your personal tour guide. In this nice occasion, I would like to tell you, explain to you, and also introduce you to one temple in Bali. As you know, that Bali is called as island of thousand temples. We have various temple, and also each temple is function differently and in each temple has uh, its own historical background and now I would like you to know more about one temple which is called as Melanting Temple without any further ado let us know more about Melanting Temple well ladies and gentlemen Melanting Temple is actually located in middle of the jungle in north part of Bali which is it is located in Singaraja Regency and especially in Pemutaran village that is the core of the Malanting temple however the Malanting temple is also located in each traditional market in Bali why it is uh, located in every traditional market in Bali because the traditional market in Bali is the center of economic mobility of Balinese people. So this Melanting temple actually function as a temple in which we pray to the God as its representation as a God who maintain wealth and also commerce. And then we call the God by this function as Melanting Goddess or Batara Ramasadana. People who usually pray in Melanting temple are those who are market vendors but it doesn't mean that those who are not market vendor cannot pray in Melanting temple those who are not market vendor also can pray in Melanting temple and they usually pray for a blessing from Betara Rambut Sedana uh, to be a successful person and also wealthy person for the market vendors they usually praying in the temple before they selling their things and then they bring their offerings in front of chana or something else and they place the offering in the place provided in the temple and they also pray for blessing from batara yang rapasadana to be a successful market vendor they also wish that the things that they sell can be sold out soon as soon as possible so because uh, Batara Ramasudana is a god who maintain a wealthy or commerce uh, Balinese market vendor usually pray there every time before they selling the things in the market ladies and gentlemen there was a unique history behind the Melanting temple the history is closely related to Dangyang Nirata trip to Bali Dayang Nirato was a Hindu seven subterracy which introduced Hindu to Balinese people. Once upon a time, Dayang Nirato, his wife Dayang Biang Ketut, and his daughter Ida Diah Ayuswabawa and his chaperon went to Bali Island. They want to go to the eastern part of Bali and they wanted to go to Besake Temple which is located far away from Singaraja. At that time, Tangyang Nirato's wife was pregnant and she couldn't continue to trip for a long time and then pass a very long way for reaching Besake Temple. Therefore, Dang yang biang ketut as to dang yang nirata for a permission to stay in the village and not continue to reach Besake temple. And then, because her wife was pregnant, dang yang nirato permitted dang yang biang ayu to stay in the village. After giving permission to his wife for staying in the village. Dang Yanirato also asked his daughter to stay with her mother in the village. Therefore, Dia Ayu stayed in the village with her mother. 
and Dangyani Rate continued to travel to the eastern part of Bali to reach Batsake Temple. Dangyani Rate also told several servants to stay in the village with his wife and his daughter. In the village, Dia Ayu taught the people how to deal with commerce. Dia Ayu was actually really intelligent in commerce. She taught the people how to bargain, how to sell products, how to promote their products. She even taught the people how to make a prospective product that can be sold in the market. Therefore, Dia Ayu was really loved by the society in the village. And in the village, they become a family. Now, time flies. They have been staying in the village for years. Biang Ketut even have been giving a birth to her baby without the presence of her husband. The baby was a boy and the name was Bagus Bajra. And now they started to be worried about her husband and their condition. Her father didn't come yet to pick them up and they worry about their condition. What if their father came after they already passed away? Therefore, Dia Ayu climbed up the coconut tree to see as if her father on the way to the village to pick them up or at least Dia Ayu would like to see the sign from her father. But she saw nothing. She also liked to hang up on the tree while waited for her father. Therefore, the Aoyu is also known as Ide Dang Ayu Melanting. In Balinese language, melanting or ngelanting means hanging on something. Because the Aoyu really liked to hanging on the tree she also called as Ida Dang Ayu Melanting. Because of their worry, if her father came to the village when they already passed away, the Ayu and her mother prayed to God for an immortal life. Their wish came true. Now they are all, the all people in the village become immortal, but there was a consequence. They can be immortal, but nobody cannot see them. And then now, they are immortal and also invisible. And because they are invisible, they like to make a mess everywhere, especially in the market. They like to bother the market vendor and also the buyers in the market. And then now, the Ayu and also her chaperone called as Wong Sama and then Dia Ayu is known as the queen of the Wong Sama and Balinese people still believe that they are still exist in this world and because they are invisible we cannot see them therefore Balinese people made one temple as a home for Dia Ayu and also their chaperone and the people the temple called as Temp Melanting Temple or Pura Melanting. The name of Melanting Temple came from Dia Ayu name as Ida Dang Yang Ayu Melanting. And then the name is came from her previous ha habit of hanging on the tree well, while seeing her father from distance. And then now people praying in Melanting Temple for avoiding the burden for from the Wong Summer as well as wishing for a fortune in commerce. So that is the history of Melanting Temple. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all about Melanting Temple that I can explain to you. I hope you learned something from my explanation and let us explore Balinese culture later on in my next video. I hope you enjoy my video, I hope you got information and I hope you like my video. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Nilo Okidastra Andriani. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.